if you're on Shopify, you know you can't enter fractional inventory. I couldn't enter 29.5 here. It would just revert back to 29. So if I'm selling any kind of fractional or decimal inventory, like if I'm in the food industry and I want to sell pounds or ounces or a fabric store that wants to sell by the yard, it's not easily possible to uh, make that happen in Shopify. So we find a really good workaround and I'm going to share it today. I'm not going to go into every detail of how this works, but if you have questions, check the description below. We have more on our website on how you can do this yourself, or if you need our help, you can hire us. All right. So here's how it works. I set up a real simple example on the front end, just fractional inventory with just a handful of variants, fractional variants. This would also work in the instance you just need a blank text box where the customer enters in the quantity, it calculates the price, they check out and inventory updates, uh, et cetera. Uh, also, like fabric shops, once in a while you'll have, you know, multiple uh, variants where you might have say 12 uh, fabrics, fabric uh, options. You choose that, then you choose your size. Any of these scenarios will work. I just set up this real simple example. All right, so say I'm a customer, I go through, I select a half, add to cart, check out. Here's what happens in the background. And you will never need to touch this spreadsheet. You won't have to look at the spreadsheet. Everything I'm showing you is automated. There's no ongoing costs of any kind. It just happens in the background. So here's how it works. All right, when an order comes in, it's automatically exported to Google Sheets. Google Sheets, if you don't know, it's free. So this just keeps a running tally of all of your orders, or at least all of your fractional inventory orders. And when those come in, they're identified by two things, product code and then the variant code. So what we do is we link these to the total quantity ordered. Again, nothing you need to remember, nothing you need to do, but just so you understand. You have your starting inventory, which I'll show you where to enter that in Shopify. That's automatically updated in this spreadsheet. We take that minus the quantity ordered that gives us our remaining inventory. And then we have rounded inventory. We round down. So 29 becomes 20 or 29.54 becomes 29. These two numbers are then automatically imported back into Shopify. Again, nothing for you to manually uh, trigger. It just happens on its own. That 29 in the spreadsheet example right here, that's imported back into the inventory. That's the best we can do right there. But for the exact number, you can go down here and see remaining inventory exact. You have your 29.54. If you need to update inventory, say you get a new shipment or it's the beginning of the year or you do a recount, something like that, you can just add that right here. Update that. That will automatically be reflected on the spreadsheet and on the next import. It will just update that number. The quickest, if you're a real high volume store, this may or may not work for you. The, the quickest this all happens is every five minutes. So orders come in over a five minute period, they're going to export. And then on the import, same thing is true. It's gonna import every five minutes. So if that's good enough, then this will work for you. Or what you could do is you could set your thresholds where you know once inventory gets down to X, call it you know five yards or whatever, then you can turn the product off. We can we can set up those types of things in the spreadsheet to automatically say, hey, turn this product off, uh, and send an email to uh, you know the, the employee that manages inventory or whoever. Those types of things can be automated. All right, so back to this back to this example. Each one of these variants will be updated with this 29 number. So regardless of which variant they order, this will always stay in sync. So 29, if I'm a customer and I come through and I just order you know, half a yard, then again, this will automatically update. So it's exact and in my example it'd become 29.04. Again, we round down, so this would still say 29. But again, uh, just to avoid overselling, you can set or we can set uh, or we can have it triggered by the spreadsheet, any inventory level you need in order to shut the product off or whatever. So it'll work uh, It'll work well for 99% of the stores. So let me know if you have questions. There's more in the description below. Thanks.